For months, we told you about a troubled apartment complex on Oklahoma City's southwest side. Residents dealt with no hot water and sewage problems this spring. And today, the city council is taking action, deeming several of those units unsafe and unsecured. As News Force Bria Berry reports, that's welcome news for a state lawmaker who has fought for those tenants. The Creekside Apartments has been an issue for over a year. Whether it be tenants not having hot water or people not getting basic needs fixed. No way to get hot water unless you boil it. The Creekside Apartments are once again in the headlines. This time, the Oklahoma City Council deeming several of its units unsecured and abandoned. I'm happy to see the city of Oklahoma City now addressing it and doing what they can to enforce local municipal law to hold those accountable. For months, Representative Mickey Dollins has fought to get Creekside tenants the help they need. Mountains of trash surrounds the property. Residents were left with AC and sewage problems during the summer. We can't allow out-of-state out corporate landlords to come to Oklahoma and prey on the vulnerabilities of Oklahoma's weak pro uh, tenant protection laws. Dollins says the conditions violate the Oklahoma Landlord and Tenant Act. And now that some of the complex's units have been declared unsecured, it allows the city to hire contractors to come in and secure them. The property owner, however, will foot the bill. As for why repairs haven't been made yet, the property owner said, We can't move. If we're being threatened with our lives, what do you suggest? It sends a clear message to out-of-state corporate landlords that you can't come to Oklahoma and prey on vulnerable Oklahomans and expect to get away with it. Bria Berry, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Bria. Now, no timetable has been set for when the contractors will move in and begin their work.